Fighty slash bow top. I have to be close to the top, right? Yeah, I'm. Oh my god, I'm number one. 19 million XP in five minutes. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to another video. Today we're here on pvpwars.net on the retro realm right here. You're welcome to come up on. As this video releases, I will be online actively talking to you guys. So feel free to come up on, check it out. We have so much going on today. I am having so much fun on Skyblock right now. You wouldn't even believe it. Just hurry up into the video. If you guys want to subscribe and hit that like button, let's just aim for 400 likes on today's video. Also, feel free to share it around, check it out. I really want to give this series a chance. I'm going to be doing it for quite a while. So come join the fun. It's, it's a fun time. If you're newer and OG PvP Wars player, I think this video is going to be very beneficial towards you if you're looking out to see what to do because there's a lot that goes on today. This is the February monthly crate. It just came out just the other day because February started. It's actually got a ton of stuff in it. It's got the star rank, which is an unbuyable rank. It's exclusively one through the monthly crates. And there's a ton of other ranks in here. Really good items. You can see spawners, giant zombie spawners. You can get an island expansion, which 500 by 500 is insane. They are half off at the moment if you guys were interested. Actually, everything's half off. But let's open this up. Let's see what's inside. We're going to go three by three, dude. We are going to speed this process up. What we can hope for the most is zombie spawners, even a rank. Oh, I got a dragon egg. 75,000 XP. You guys are going to see a lot about XP today. Five zombie pigmen too. Dude, dragon eggs are going to help with island levels so much. All right, and then out of this, we got, oh, we got a golden key, a money pouch, and god apples. Okay, those are more decent, but I'll take it. And then out of the third row, we got ourselves five blade spawners, three IG spawners, and 500 mob coins. And then the final slot. These things are okay. A looter pet. I think that's actually pretty good. They say it's good. I am very happy with that drop. I will take that and I will use that. I just have to upgrade it. Then we also have a few crate keys in here. You get normal crate keys from voting and for time played. So let's see what we went off of normal crates. Oh, oh, I thought I got a fly command. That would have been so sick. Spinning another one. What are we going to get? Oh, grappling hook. Sick. Here, watch this, guys. Woo! Then we have the golden key. It's been one of these. Let's go ring around the rosy here. Five pigment spawners. Sure, dude. I'll take it. And let's do one roulette key on red on this block. Always a lucky block right here. What are we going to get? Let's land on red. Come on. Three IG spawners, dude. I will take that. That's sick. Heading back to the main island, we have a lot of progress going on. We're really starting to clean things up, get get things ready for island design. You Bed Wars players are going to love my island design. I'm just throwing that out there. We're also going to be giving away the Wraith Rank today, which is, if you look in the kits, it's pretty high up. It gets you some pretty great stuff. All you have to do to enter for it is comment your IGN down below and come hop on the server. You have to be on the server to play, and uh, if you get the rank, it'll be even sicker. So yeah, you know, it also doesn't hurt to like the video. Let's just say for 400 likes today. We have a very hectic episode to get into, so we are going to hop into that, guys. It's about halfway done as of now. I still need... Ice is expensive, though. It's like 500k for just one of these corners. Oh, God. So so we have four different corners, and then I'm going to guess we're just going to put four different awesome mob, mob grinders on each side, and then it's going to go to the middle where an eye chest is going to be. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Are we still trying to get a giant spawner? Yep. And, then... and back to IS home. Do I open up this legendary chest? Yeah, so there's been a lot that's gone on since I've been on. And ideally, a lot more spawners add to the farm, including AGs, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, $75 million from PPR's admin and $11 million from Macon. Not too many people have a giant zombie spawner on the server. Like, five people are, like, within range of a giant zombie spawner at the moment. Yeah. So I'm going to click this now. I'm going to buy it, that giant zombie spawner. And we're we're going to be the, the first people to make it automatic, I hope. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if anyone else has yet, but that's what we're here to find out. One iron ingot from an iron golem spawner goes for $2. But one giant zombie flesh goes for $2,000. So you can see how that would add up once you have a lot more money. In three, two, one, and boom. Oh, oop, no, no, and boom. See, I, I'm sorry, you, I just can't be trusted. There we go. I have a giant zombie spawner now. Uh, the very first one for our island. Oh my gosh, this is going to be great. Yeah, so we're going to work to make this automatic because once we have a lot and they automatically die, that's really going to be able to add to our balance pretty quick, actually. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, good job to you guys for uh, for grinding. They are using an eye chest. All these mobs that are dying, they all filter into an eye chest. This is an item on the server and it like it holds unlimited storage. And you're able to sell it all at once, which in this case right now will give us $5 million. That's a massive jump from last episode. All right, so we're currently at the outpost in the PvP in a very dicey spot. And I'm high up has allowed me to cap the money outpost so I can get a 1.5 times sell booster 
uh, to pretty much help us sell everything and get a lot more profit off of it. Uh, so yeah, I just I just captured the money outpost. All right, so I have a money pet that's level 1000, meaning I'm gonna make a lot more off this as well. So I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna turn it on. So I activated it, I'm gonna go in here, 35 million, I'm gonna hit sell all. Now look at this guys, oh my God. So I made 35 million extra for the money pet, 35 million in general, and 17.6 million extra for the outpost. Holy crap. So a lot of credit goes to I'm high up for letting us uh, cap. That just got a $17 million extra on a fighty slash bow top. I have to be close to the top, right? Yeah, I'm, oh my God, I'm number one. Not only that guys, but this thing is making so much money. We have spawners up here, a ton of them at that. 32 blades, 32 blah, 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 blah. And then we have all of them, uh, you know, filtering into the middle. We're gonna have the same thing here, same thing here, same thing here. It's gonna go all the way up up here. And there's even more spawners that will be up there that drop down. So guys, this is gonna be such a great money maker. I'm the richest person on the server right now. I could buy almost two zombie spawners right now. That's three in total. Oh, that helps so much. IS top progress is going phenomenally. We're at number 19, a little bit behind, but still phenomenal considering the fact that once we put a lot of other stuff up, we're gonna boost ourselves up pretty high. X side is the first island to get to 1 billion. Test they have no members. Kind of interesting, might wanna look into that. Yeah, but you know what? It's going pretty well. I'm really happy with how things are going at the moment on pvpvers.net on the retro realm. Not to mention, look, it says subscribe. You should totally do that. All right, I have an announcement and I can't get too specific, but I'm happy to announce that I am the very first island, the target 3D gaming island. Oh, I almost just spilled my drink. To ever automate a giant zombie farm. And you might say, oh, giant zombies, they're not that great though. Well, it's gonna be getting some buffs this weekend, guys. We have a lot of updates coming this weekend, in fact. Like, I'm extremely hyped to see what happens. And we're the only island to have an auto zombie farm. That's for the giant zombies, the new ones. Except we're not gonna release it yet. We're gonna keep it on the down low because we just wanna see what this amounts to. I wanna see what happens. So I'm gonna keep it off video. We're gonna keep it off the scripts. We're gonna keep it off the screens. In this video, we formed an allyship with I'm High Up's Island. And uh, now that we have that, they may have it as well. But it is all going to be staying as private information for the time being. But I just want to say, we have automated it. And I won't say how yet, but when we eventually get into it, you guys will see. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, well, we'll hop back into it. So let's go. Alrighty, guys. So now we're here at the Enchant Bookkeeper. A very fantastic place to get books. A very fantastic place to get better. Because this is where custom enchants come in. So I have Scoot 2, Replenish, Health Boost, and Instructable, all given to me by I'm High Up. He's been really stacking us on with the stuff. So thank you so much to him. But pretty much, guys, I have 2,000 levels, and I'm going to show you how I got to that in just a moment because it's very essential to what we're doing. So there is basic books, rare books, and then legendary books. And when it says it costs 500 levels down there on the bottom right of this tab, it literally means 500 levels. So this actually costs 2,000 levels. I thought that was impossible this morning, but I guess not because click, let's see what I get. The biggest hope is that I win some really great thing that I can put on all my armor. Oh, I have to right click. And we got Teleblock. All right, well, I'm ready to TP to you to show off this madness of how I got 2,000 levels in five minutes. Honestly, yeah, I really fun. do want, I want more people to make sets. So I wouldn't be mind if you want to like be like, oh yeah, this is what God said takes, you know? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty much the ideal god set. Uh, the best things that you can put on each item. Uh, and a lot of this is going to take a lot of grinding, uh, but you need a good amount of XP to do so, which is right here. And I'll get into that in just a moment. There's like three to five enchants on each piece, and that makes the best of the best in every regard. Oh, going into the chest, on? guys, look at some of the stuff in here. So this is what they have for their ideal setup. Uh, they have a grind three, coins five, sword. You can get the sharpness five, looting five. No, but there's also <laughs> lucky pets. There's a looter pet. Wait, I don't think I meant to take that out which gives you a higher chance of receiving mob coins. It's not, this is not necessary, but it's possible if you want just to get more. There is the soul pets. It gets you a lot of extra XP and then the experience pet. So you get more XP, you know, just by picking it up. Now I was already here. That's how I had 2000 levels. Look how many mobs there are here. Like if I look up there, you can see a ton of spawners up there just to get an idea. And there's a lot more and they're all around and throughout. But look at my levels right now, guys. We're about to make hundreds of thousands of XP up to millions in just a minute. So here we go. We're, I'm just gonna mine. We're just look at my amount of levels right now. It's just flying up and nothing is gonna prevent that. So I'm already at 600 levels and I've literally been sitting here for oh, a, a painstaking 30 seconds. Wow, you guys really have a slow grinder. <laughs> so literally they're spawning coming down by the thousands, literally. And I'm already at 1,200 levels. And so I, I, all I have to do is sit here, keep auto sell on. I'm making money. I'm living my best life. And 
at the end of the day, I get more books to upgrade my sets and to continue onwards. So I'm gonna get to 2,000 levels and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back at the Enchant Bookkeeper in literally five minutes, guys. And I made 19 million XP in five minutes. We got coins three. That's not very good. I already have coins five on my sword. All right, but you know what? It's no worries because in five minutes, I can already have another book. It's pretty crazy. So now we're at the experience outpost. And pretty much when you cap this, you make 1.5 times XP, meaning I'll make even faster XP. Then we're going to see what it's like when I'm actually there at the grinder. It's going to make a massive difference. So that's going to be the hope is to see how fast and how long it'll take us to make XP and how much we can get in a day. I'm just going to start slaying them. So now we have a 1.5 times XP boost on top of that, plus all of our, you know, pets and swords and all this. And now I want to see how fast you go up. I, I just went up 270 levels on one hand. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, yeah, be a lot. Do that. Oh. Yeah. oh my God. I'm making so many levels right now, guys. Look at my XP bar. I'm already at a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I am ridiculously close to uh, 2,000, and it's only been a minute and a half. All right, literally a minute and a half, I just got 2,000 levels, <laughs> which is 20 million XP. So let's go for 10 minutes. I, I don't even know what's gonna happen. This is insane. It has been 10 minutes. You can look at the clock on the right uh, if you do want proof of that, but it has been 10 minutes, and you can look at my levels right now. I'm at 5,088 levels, and it's been 10 minutes minutes and if i do slash xp i'm at 116 million xp that is 1 billion xp in an hour and 40 minutes hey i would make 16.8 billion xp one day of grinding on this grinder will not only get you 17 billion levels it'll get you 950 legendary books I, oh i just got i just hit my 12 hour mile so i mean i got 150,000 XP, which is totally inconsequential at this point. <laughs> and I didn't pick up any of it because it was a normal XP bottle. Thank God. So we are back at the Enchanter. One thing you got to do is you have to bottle your XP separately. So this is the same amount as 2,000 levels uh, because it'll automatically... If I have 5,000 levels, I can only get two books, which is way more than the actual XP of 5,000 levels. Because the higher up in XP you go, the more XP it takes to get to another level. So I wasted a ton of levels, but now we're good. So now we're gonna throw one XP down. We are gonna open up a legendary book. We're gonna grab that. We're just gonna keep throwing this down. We're gonna buy them all separately. We're gonna have a good time. Oh dude, look, 2,000 levels on the dot every single time. That is so satisfying. And boom, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six legendary books. I got leaps three. Nice. Second one, I got Replenish. Nice. That's sick. I got coins. I already got that. That's decent. Uh, I got a Headshot book. This one, I got another coins book. That's unlucky. And then the last one is Scavenger. Chance to drop extra ores while mining. But listen, dude, that was 10 minutes. If you want to buy 950 of these, well, just grind all day on his grinder or make your own here on PvP Wars on that Scablock Retro.